Wow. Mm -mm. No, stories like that just make me shake my head, Why? man. Ugh. Yeah, well, yeah. Bad little kids. Why don't we talk don't about do weather? That. It's at least yeah. <laughs> the at least weather. I the that. weather is behaving. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yes. Next week, another possible development mm -hmm. in the same spot, Helene. Uh, form. So we mm. just still have some interest out there, although the weekend plus the next two or three days after that look really nice here. The view from our studio is looking good. We've got the dry air. There's the view from the studio. Dry air coming in, lots of clear air above us. Wind coming in from the Gulf. The sea breeze has worked in uh, to the studio. It's not yet to the airport. Winds out of the northwest there, 92 out. There are the remnants now of Helene. A lot of rain up there. It's merged with the same system that's responsible for bringing in the dry air through South Texas and that hangs out over the mid south all weekend, which means our forecast doesn't change a whole lot through Sunday. That drier air is going to keep on working into the region. Muggy meter is going to show us in the low end of humid through the weekend, and then we start to raise it back up and maybe more significantly into the later parts of next week. That may have to do with a disturbance that's trying to develop in the Western Caribbean. Tropics are active. We've got Isaac, Joyce, another possible disturbance, and the next name's up. Listen up. Kirk and Leslie. Those are the two next names on the list. So we do have this tropical potential 30% from the Hurricane Center, Western Caribbean, Southern Gulf. This is the same type of thing that happened with Helene and with respect to how that, that storm developed. This broad low pressure feature, you see how all the contours wrap around Central America. We got little disturbances all around. One of them could develop. That's the Central American gyre. And where it goes, that's going to be the question. It looks like high pressure is going to be over near Florida slash Cuba. That leaves a lot of the Gulf open. I'm about to show just a couple of scenarios. These aren't forecasts, but just to show what would happen with respect to that moisture coming in. If we saw something fire up, move toward Mexico, that would slingshot a lot of moisture into Texas. Rain chances would go up late next week. If we get a system that goes more to the north into the northern Gulf, could mean something similar to right now where we get that drier air getting pulled southward uh, into South Texas. Again, it's not a decipherable forecast at this point with respect to where it goes. Just wanted to show what could be on the table uh, with respect to those general movements on the system. Somewhere in between there also possible. Upper 60s again tonight, light variable winds tomorrow, middle 90s, mainly sunny, hot, but the humidity going to be in check at the beach. Watch out for the rip current risk. It's going to be high. Bays will be smooth next seven days. We do get the increase in humidity heading into the later parts of next week. That should cap the high temperatures, lower 90s. And again, we may have a little rain chance. Just it all hinges on what whatever's going to happen in the southern Gulf, Western Caribbean, and whatever that system does, you know, that's going to dictate the forecast late next week right now. I don't have anything that, significant. That's what, but, but that's what you've kind of been doing for this, at least this latter part of this hurricane season. You just kind of have to wait and watch, right? One just, some, it's, it's, so it's, well, there's nothing tangible there yeah, now. Yeah. But we can't really, you know, put a model on it and have good accuracy. Mm -hmm. Once something does start to spin up a little bit, it'll be a little more clear, but we're not there yet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and Alan and the team will have you updated every step of the way. Mm -hmm. So Alan, thank you for that. Still to come.